Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this session, I would like us to prove question rule. Given A to be obtuse angle. By obtuse, we mean that A is an angle that is bigger than 90, but less than 180 degrees. You can see this is our A. Angle A is obtuse because it's bigger than 90. But it's less than 180. So remember that in the example, we will only be given this step, uh, triangle here. So step number one in your proof, what do you do first? Make sure that you construct the base. And then after you construct, the height. You can see that the combination of the height and the base always creates the angle of 90 degrees. Very important. And then we've created a new triangle. The name of the triangle is ABD. And then we've created again another triangle. And the name of the triangle is BCD. Our proof is going to be based on those two triangles. I can label them again. A, B, D is the first triangle that we're going to use in our proof. And again, we're going to use B, C, D in our proof. Secondly, I would like you to see something very interesting. You can see here that we have 180 degrees minus A. The A that we are referring to is this part here. That is an A. But the whole of this angle from here up to here is 180 degrees. So when we want this angle, this smaller angle here, you must consider the bigger angle minus the smaller angle. By the big angle, I'm referring to 180 degrees. When I say smaller angle, I'm referring to an A. Here we're talking about the difference between two angles. So we managed to get this angle, which is here, which is 180 degrees minus A. And the reason for us is that uh, the sum of all angles from the state line is equal to 180 degrees. That is why we have this statement, which is here. And you can see that our angle A in triangle B, D, A is 180 degrees minus A. Very important. What did we say? We said this is angle A. And the whole of this angle here on the straight line is 180 degrees. For us to get this angle here, we say 180 minus A to get this A. This is a concept of difference between two angles. And we've constructed the height, and then we've constructed our base. Very important. So let's proceed. When we proceed, When we proceed, we consider triangle BDC, BDC, which is the bigger triangle. I can try to highlight it. You consider this triangle, and in this triangle, we apply Pythagoras theorem. How do we apply it? We have angle A here, and then we know that angle A squared is given by BD squared. We say BD, BD squared. This is BD squared, is equal to cd squared equals to cd squared which is equals to a squared remember that this is small smaller a this part here is small a so a squared is equal to bd squared plus dc squared remember that this is opportunist because it's opposite to this 90 degrees because we're considering the bigger triangle which is triangle b D and C equals to this triangle. Then we apply the Pythagoras. Very interesting statement. And this statement is also very interesting because you want to substitute CD by a particular distance. Look at CD. CD is a bigger distance and is made by AD plus B. 
I'm repeating, we say CD is made by B plus AD. That is why here, where there is CD, we substitute by B plus AD. This is the B plus AD, both of them. When you add them, you get DC squared. You will get DC. Now, when we proceed from this statement to this, I want to explain how you obtain this statement. I'm sure some of you know how to move from here to here, but for the sake of those who are behind, let's explain it. So this part here, we simplified by saying B squared, then we write the B squared here. Then we say two times B times AD, we write it here. Then we say plus AD squared, then we write it here. Then we've simplified this statement. But very important, we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem on this triangle, which is here. Please follow this triangle. Make sure that you see this triangle that I'm highlighting. In this triangle here, we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem. And indeed, here we do apply Pythagoras theorem because now we have this C, which is opposite to 90 degrees. It becomes our hypotenuse. Then we say C squared is equal to AD squared plus BD squared. This is the statement where it comes from. And then we, give, we already gave the reason that is Pythagoras theorem. That's now we use this A squared here. On this equation, remember that there is E squared here. On this equation, we we are going to replace A squared combined with A D squared. We're going to replace them by C squared. I repeat, this B squared and A D squared, we replace them by C squared, both of them. You can write B, B D and A D next to each other. Then we replace them by C squared. That is why this statement becomes this one. We have a squared plus the b squared plus c squared. Plus, we still have this term here, which is 2b ad, and we can label this equation number one. So we are done investigating Pythagoras theorem on the bigger triangle, and also on the smaller triangle, which is triangle A, B, D, C. Now we also go to another triangle, which is A, B, D. A, B, D. If, in fact, it's the same triangle, which is A, B, D. On this triangle, we are now using the definition of cos. Remember that we said, on the previous lessons, we said the definition of cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. It is here where we use the definition of cos. We now say the cos of this angle is equal to adjacent side. We call it the adjacent cos. That's where you start measuring angle. This is angle A. And we start measuring this angle on this side. That is why this side is called an adjacent side for this particular angle. Hence, here we have the cos of 180 degrees minus A. Adjacent side is AB divided by C. C is the opportunist because it's opposite to 90 degrees. I'm sure you, you get that today, folks. Please repeat, feel free to repeat the video so that some concept can be more clear to you. When we proceed, we solve AD, and when we solve AD, we use the concept of cross multiplication. You say C times this term, we have minus C, we have C times cos A. Look at this thing here. We have cos A here instead of 180 minus. Remember this. 180 minus A is in the second quadrant, and in the second quadrant, cos is negative. That is why here we have negative. Then the cos of A, then we write this A here as this. Let's repeat this point because it's very important. From grade 11, we know that 180 minus A represents the second quadrant, and in the second quadrant, the cos is always negative. And that is why we have negative here. And then we take the cos of A. And we label this 
equation number two. That is orientation. Orientation is to replace A D by minus C the cos of A. And from there we are done with our proof. Let me show you something here on this step. Uh, quickly let me take the pen. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this thing very careful. You have two equations, equation one and equation two. So you want to proceed. When you proceed, you, you substitute A D by minus C cos of A. That is why here we have minus C cos of A. This minus is this one here. And C cos A is this C cos A here. And then here is what we have. Let me see this through C and take the pen. Okay, so now look at this. After substituting equation two to equation one, we obtain this equation. And indeed, this is the proof of quotient rule. If you are required to prove that e squared is equal to e squared plus c squared minus two ac the cos of b, c squared cos e squared plus b squared minus two a the cos of b, if you are required to prove these two things, after this statement, we are going to say similarly. We are going to say similarly, and then you write this thing down. Or you say similarly, then you write this thing, this statement down. So similarly means using the same method, same reasoning and same procedure, we can get the other equations. Thank you very much, uh, folks, for watching. So I advise you to repeat this video maybe two or three times until you are familiar with how to prove the constant rule given in the obtuse angle and the, and the acute angle. And I would like to thank you again for watching this video. And then let's meet again in the next session.